Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where I provide easy to understand automotive system explanations. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about the accelerator pedal position sensor, also known as the APP sensor. This component is an essential part of your vehicle's throttle and fuel delivery system. It measures how far down you are pushing the accelerator pedal and converts that into an electronic signal that the car's computer uses to control engine speed. So in other words, it allows your engine to respond when you put your foot down on the gas pedal. There are a few different types of APP sensors, but they all serve the same basic purpose. The most common design uses a contact-based potentiometer. This contains a strip of resistive material with three wires connected, two on either end of the strip and a third wiper in contact with the strip that sweeps across as the pedal is pressed. It works a lot like a volume knob on a stereo. As the wiper moves across the resistive strip, it creates a voltage divider, so the output voltage changes depending on the pedal position. This voltage signal gets sent to the engine computer which uses that info to determine how much fuel and air needs to be delivered to the engine. Some APP sensors have two or even three potentiometers and sets of wiring for redundancy in case one fails. A six-pin sensor would have two grounds, two power supplies, and two variable signal wires. The computer compares the readings from the multiple sensors to make sure they match. If one goes out of range, the computer can detect the fault and go into a reduced performance mode rather than completely shutting down the throttle control. This allows the driver to still limp home or to a repair shop safely. Now let's talk about the non-contact type APP sensors. These use magnetic or inductive sensing rather than a physical wiper contact. The two types are the Hall Effect and Inductive Sensors. Hall Effect sensors have a magnet and a chip made from a semiconductor material. As the pedal moves, the magnetic field near the chip changes, which gets converted into a voltage signal output. Inductive position sensors contain a wire coil and magnet. When ferrous metal moves near the sensor, it changes the magnetic field, inducing a current and voltage in the coil that can be measured. These non-contact types have the advantage of no wearing parts that can cause issues over time. But the downside is they still require their voltage power source to generate the output signal, whereas the potentiometer relies solely on the existing power going to it from the car's wiring. All right, let's summarize the key points about APP sensors. Converts pedal position into a proportional electrical signal. Allows the computer to control fueling and engine speed. The potentiometer type uses a resistive contact strip. Non-contact uses magnetic field and induction. Redundant sensors provide fault tolerance. I hope this overview has helped explain what this critical engine management component is doing under the hood of your car. Understanding basics like this can help when diagnosing or discussing issues with your mechanic. Let me know if you have any other questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this demystifying car system for DIYers. Thanks for watching.